Hi everyone, so I just got home from work and I wanted to do another 10 questions. These were all sent in from you on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and they're all about self-care. From Steph at Steph Olson, how do you stay confident when dealing with rejection? Well, it sounds corny, but I'm actually very grateful for all of the rejection that I've ever faced because it's motivated me to prove others wrong, including myself, and it's shown me how resilient I can really be. Fran at Barb Bellas, do you usually do meditation? Yes, I did take a course for Transcendental Meditation at the David Lynch Foundation, and that was one of the best things that I've ever done. I actually did it with my boyfriend when we started dating, and it became a great tool for us to use to be able to connect to one another. Um, when I've been traveling and working nonstop, it's really been a great tool for me to sort of feel centered and block out the noise because I think it's really important to work on being present in the moment. And sometimes it's hard to find stillness when you're just running around and the life is really crazy. M at emck 614 What do you do to prepare your mind for a busy day? An ideal morning, I'll meditate and stretch, and I also like to have breakfast and a nice matcha, sometimes mixed with manuka honey, which is really good for you, especially if you're not feeling well. And it's delicious. <laughs> Shane at Iconic Vampires. After a very stressful day, what do you intend to do to ease your stress? Lots of times I'm posing, and that can put my back and my body in some uncomfortable uh, position, so it's nice to stretch it out and breathe. Breathing is really important to help decompress. Sometimes I'll get into a game, like Guitar Hero I just bought, <laughs> or play music really loud, and I'll take a bath with Epsom salts. Emma at Wildfire Lies. How do you deal with anxiety? I take medication, but I want to learn other ways to cope as well. Meditation is a very helpful tool for anxiety. I can't emphasize that enough. Mindfulness is so key, especially in this world where we're living with a lot of information coming at us really fast. Working out is a huge stress relief. I truly believe that your body and mind are so connected. And disclaimer, I am not a medical professional, but sometimes I take this natural herb called ashwanga. So you can look it up and see if it's right for you. Follow-up question. Do you have a night routine that helps you sleep easier? Any tips or tricks for sleep? Sometimes I'll drink magnesium at night. And this really helps. Like I instantly feel relaxed when I drink this. It also improves your musculoskeletal function in your body. It also comes in a lotion. So you can put on magnesium lotion and it's great for your muscles if you don't wanna drink it. Georgina Russo, how often do you treat yourself? I try to fit in a massage at least once every few weeks. It's something that I would like to do a bit more. Taking time for yourself to treat yourself shouldn't just be treated as some luxury, but something that you're doing to improve your quality of living. Lindy at 1989 Deluxe Album. Do you feel like you unintentionally contribute to the perfection Instagram culture? And what would you say to young fans who want to look like you or think they need to be perfect? Well, this is a very sensitive topic and something that I try to be very conscious of. Um, sometimes I've struggled with it, but I do realize that there were models before there was Instagram and it is very important for young women to educate themselves on what's healthy for their bodies because Healthy looks different on everybody. There is no image of perfect. We're all working through insecurities. It is very important for everyone out there to feel like their community is represented. Instagram, I can't emphasize enough. It is, you know, the best version of you that day. It's all curated. You have to take it all with a grain of salt. 